afternoon, everybody. Actually, good morning still. I'd like to welcome everybody to the Hot Glass Show. This is Lewis Olson. He's our master glass blower. He's going to do the show for us. It's going to make us a beautiful bowl. To get started, he's going to gather some glass out of our furnace. This furnace holds about 300 pounds of molten glass, and the temperature is 2100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, at that temperature, you can see it's glowing bright orange. It's actually clear glass. He's going to roll this in crushed up colored glass called Frit. Shows a beautiful iris night blue. So this is a dark blue color. He's going to melt that into the surface. Then he's going to go over to the bench and use a wooden spoon called the block to shape, center, and cool the glass down. Right now it's not very round or smooth. Actually, he's going to drop this into a mold called a lime mold which is going to put ribs or ridges in the surface of the glass. And he's going to twist those ribs up. He's going to smooth those lines out. And in a second, he's going to start the blowing process by putting a puff of air into the end of the iron. He'll trap that air in there with his thumb, and you'll see a bubble shoot out to the center. If you don't see the bubble, you'll see it start to get a little bit larger. There it is. Now Lewis is going to make all of this look very easy. He's been blowing glass for over 30 years, so he's got a lot of experience. He's just blowing a little compressed air on the bubble so it cools down faster. Now he'll be able to go back in the furnace and collect about three times as much. Again, he'll use a larger block. I believe he's going to go into another mold, a larger mold, to put ribs on the surface of the glass. The first set of lines are just for the decoration. It'll appear like it has stripes. If you look at that pink bowl in the front by the window, you can see that's got the stripes in it. And uh, so the inside will have those stripes, and the outside will have ridges on it. into the mold. He'll blow pretty hard. This fills the mold up. Now he's going to go into our reheating furnace. He wants to reheat the surface of the glass and then he's going to start to inflate it. Now he doesn't have to blow very hard. It's actually very easy to inflate the glass. Probably easier than blowing up a balloon. These are a pair of steel tools called jacks. He's making a restriction right off the end of the iron called the jack line. This is an important step because this is how we're going to break the piece off the blowpipe. We'll attach a solid rod called a punty iron to the bottom of it. That'll allow us to flip it around so we can work on the top of the piece. The fire that you see burning off the blaze of the jacks, we use beeswax to lubricate them so it doesn't stick to the hot glass. He's going to cool the neck down a little bit, then we're going to get ready to add a foot to the bottom of this. So I'll gather up a little more glass and we're going to drop it right on the top. As soon as he grabs it, you can see it falls right off the end of the iron. He cuts off the amount that he wants.
He's going to get ready to attach this punchy iron right to the center of the foot. I'm just going to support the weight of the iron. He'll do all the work. I can feel it already starting to stiffen up. He's going to chill the jack line in a little tap. It pops right off just like that. So now he's going to concentrate most of the heat right on the front of the piece. That's the part that he wants to change. Every once in a while you'll see him stick it all the way inside the furnace. We call that flashing the piece. It's just a quick overall heat to make sure that the punty stays hot. If that gets too cold, it'll pop off and hit the floor. Now the clear glass in our furnace is called a soda lime glass because of the three main ingredients. We use silica sand, soda ash, and limestone. To get the different colors in glass, we add different metal oxides to the clear glass. So if you wanted to make a cobalt blue glass, you'd add cobalt oxide. To make a green glass, you'd add iron oxide. And to make a nice, pretty pink color, you would add gold chloride. You can see Lewis is working very efficiently. He's already got a beautiful bowl opened up just like that. I think he's going to take one more heat, though, to really finish it off. Make sure everything's running nice and straight. Now you can probably see the ridges on the glass, on the outside of the surface of the glass. When he went into the mold and he blew into it, he actually stretched the glass thick and thin. And where those ribs are, it's actually thicker. With this last heat, Lewis is going to flare the top of this open, wide open. When he comes out, he'll hold it down and he'll get a beautiful fluted edge. But you're going to notice that the ridges will actually stretch farther, and that's what's going to give him that fluted edge. You can actually see inside of our furnace, we have a camera on the back of it. There's a piece of glass in front of the camera lens called fused silica, and that's what protects it from the heat. That type of glass was developed right here in Corning in the 1930s. There it is. You can see he's opened it all the way up. Look at that. It gives him that beautiful scalloped edge. Now the last thing that we need to do is remove it from the iron. He's going to place a couple drops of water on the putty where it's attached. That's going to create some stress cracks. With a slight little tap, it'll break off onto these forks. The piece is still pretty hot. Doesn't take much. Pops right off. Now we're going to fire polish the bottom where that punty was attached. It leaves a little sharp edge when you break it free. So into our annealer it goes. There's your last look. Tomorrow morning when we pull this out of the oven, it'll be much brighter. So how about a big round of applause for Lewis Olson? Nice job. Beautiful piece. All right, we'd like to thank everybody for coming to the show. We hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot of things to see and do here in the museum. In the Innovation Center, there's three other demonstrations. There's a glass breaking show, there's a fiber optic demonstration, and also a lamp breaking demonstration. So check those out. Enjoy the rest of your day.